That sound reminds me of an old Jim Carrey movie. I don't know if you've seen that. It's called Me, Myself and Irene. I'm not recommending the movie, but the character had an alter ego where he would absolutely go mental. Whenever he did, they would play this effect on a drum pattern. It's very, very cool. Check out the movie and you'll know exactly what I mean. So the D11 is a pretty simple device that gives you a really good distorted effect. It's kind of like the Happy Meal version of distortion. If you want the gourmet five-star Hollywood version of distortion, then Scream 4 is your effect. When you look at Scream 4, you might notice that not only is it a more imposing unit with more bells and whistles, its subtitle actually gives its versatility away. It's not just distortion, it's sound distraction, baby. There are 10 different ways to destroy your sound, followed by a three-band EQ, and then your sound is placed in a resonant body which can shape your sound with five different body types right over here. Now you should be familiar with these icons down here. They show you that you can set up patches. Basically all these patches are just Scream 4 parameters that have been saved. And you can either scroll through them or underneath the folder icon you can go through and they're also labeled and organized underneath subfolders here. And of course if you make any tweaks here you can then save your own patches. It's funny because when I grew up uh, the sound quality of our, all our sound sources and our recording devices were of such low quality that we were always just striving to have the perfect sound one completely free of hiss and distortion. Well, we've achieved that over the last decade or so. And I think now we've just become bored with clean and now we want to take every opportunity to uh, grunge up our sounds. And the Scream 4 is the most elaborate way to grunge up your sound all the way from subtle overdrive to just over the top, complete thrashing of your sound. There's just so many uh, options here that I would really suggest that you go through uh, some of the presets and see what makes up each one. Basically, you dial in the type of distraction that you want, and then you can adjust the two parameters here with the two knobs down here. These refer to these parameters right here on the front panel. So for example, in the overdrive, this would be tone and this would be presence. Now let me just play this loop here and you can dial in the damage control. This may actually start to ramp up your level so you may want to balance the master down here as you crank up the damage control. This one down here which is digital basically lowers the resolution so you can get some real old school sounds. Almost like a video game. 